So I'm sitting here talking with my buddy Lee, and you'd ask Lee what I was doing today. Yes. Don't nod, the camera can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, I was. And I said I'm working on my channel. Okay. And I'm working on that the cricket manufacturing plant in London, Ontario, which we have almost a billion dollars invested in, is online making 9,000 metric tons of crickets for human and pet consumption. And you seem kind of astounded by that. Do I think what? You seem astounded by that. Like, like what? You don't want to eat crickets? No, I don't want to eat crickets. I want to eat a steak or chicken or hamburger. The stuff we've always eaten. That's right. Well, but they're telling us that we're not going to be able to continue to do that. Yeah. Because cow farts are bad. You've heard about that, right? Cow farts That's are... That's what I heard. Yeah, so... Bullshit. Yeah, no pun intended. So what are you going to do all these farmers, thousands of farmers... Raising chickens, cows, and pigs. How are you going to sustain them? Uh, they, well, I, I, hmm, that's a good question. They're going to move them into 15 minute cities and feed them crickets. Okay. You, you don't, you don't sound like you like that idea? No, I don't have an idea. No, I don't want to eat crickets. Well, well, look, Justin Trudeau took almost a billion of our dollars to grow crickets. Don't you have any faith in his plan? No. No. Okay, things are pretty black and white in Lee's world, and you know what? I agree with him. But you know where this whole plan comes from, right? It comes from the World Economic Forum. We've talked yeah. about that before. Yeah. They say farming is just simply not sustainable. We can't do that anymore and they want to replace animal protein with cricket protein. Crickets and mealybugs, and uh, apparently they can make milk out of cockroaches. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. Do you, what, do you not think the idea of cockroach? Well, I'm just listening to this, I'll go, it's all fucking bullshit, as far as I'm concerned. Well, it's not, it's not BS in their minds, they're, they're serious about it. You're not, you're not behind the plan? No. <laughs> okay. You don't like them taking your tax money and spending it on a cricket plant? No. I want to put a chicken in the oven and eat it in the next couple of days, have some sandwiches, or make a soup. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I've done my whole life. Well, and it works well for you. Yeah. Now, you were surprised when I said they're already putting crickets in food. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, they're already here in Canada. There's chicken and chips. They're not chicken. Uh, crackers and chips and stuff, but they don't call them crickets. They hide the name, like Coconel is one name. It's kind but of... They don't put crickets on the bags. No, they don't. No, no, they kind of hide it, like Coconel, sort of the Latin base root for... Yeah. insect and stuff. So like. nobody knows what the hell they're eating on these chips. Yeah. Well, I just started researching it and I haven't finished the research because I'm doing this whole series on these crickets and the <laughs> bugs and everything else. But the, uh, I'm not sure what the exact terminology is, but I'll just say the Board of Health in the United States says crickets and bugs are like acceptable and okay that's not really the proper terminology i just googled it up and haven't taken right. my notes but health canada says it's totally acceptable so we're ahead of the united states in introducing uh bugs for food so the i people just in the states know that oh yes yeah yeah i don't know people in the states know about but it most canadians don't no, no, most most Canadians don't. That's why I do the kind of content I do. Okay. So, anyways, uh, Lee says no to crickets, and so does Uncle Carl, and so should you. I'll leave the video here. I thought it was 